Hello everybody, Lord Adrian here with another Grey Goof replay. And this time we have, once again, Bike Rush, more known as Bike Rush Owens from Command and Conquer of Kane's Wrath. On the left side, this time as a human faction, not as a goof faction. Over here on the right, we have Loho, a goof faction. Well, it's soon not to be on the right, anyways. Of course, that's my usual joke. Loho is moving around, gains more resources, perhaps going to apply some early aggression. Not sure. <coughs> Got a drover. Tap, tap, tap. Dealing pretty much no damage to the tank attachment and to the factory. Looks, looks like Bike Rush might be going for early Gladys production. <clears throat> Which may be interesting. <coughs> Nothing too aggressive right now. Looks like there's a trident and a Revolver, ready to uh, a fight. Perhaps they just want to. Well, do they? Does Bikers know the goo factions there? He might have. He has some previous vision, but I'm not sure. Over here on the left, we have a Drover. More scouting. Looks like another revolver. Looks like Bike Rush may. Oh yeah, like I, like we've seen before, she's putting little damage on a mother crew really hurts the economy of the other player. And this might be what we see. A trying and a revolver. They should have visual range. No? You got to be effing with me. That counts is on top of the mountain. I think Loho is short as uh, like variant of LOL. <coughs> Now that's just way too funny. This counts as higher ground, so Bike Rush has no vision of it. Look at that. Got the trident being snuck out. Drover pecking away. <coughs> Now it looks like a bit of an ambush to take out the Gladys. You do not want Jovers versus the Gladys, but now the Striders will take out the Gladys. You almost take out the Drover. A uh, heavy, an anti heavy, yeah. That tank attachment, has it been in pause this entire time? What was that? Was that another tank attachment? I'm not sure. Poke. 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 Taking out the... Going for the extractor. Doing the hand. <laughs> First one's the... It's a dummy. Wow, those build faster than I remember. Because the first one wasn't a dummy, it didn't cancel at the last moment. <coughs> By the looks of it, Bike Rush really wishes that these turrets had longer range. Sells off the factory in the anti-heavy, and now he's fun trying to get the range again. Trying to repair it, and it's dead. Slowing down only the economy.
sells off the original Warfax uh, tank attachment and now getting once again a tank attachment. Looks like it's going to continue with double GLaDOS. GLaDOS. Not GLaDOS. That picture science. Got five Mother Goose out with no really offensive force imminent, so he's good for right now for ecoing. And it's going, what I would recommend perhaps is to get another Mother Goose over here and encircle Bike Rush, prevent him from moving out or gaining any more expansions. And then once you encircle him, just defend, let your Mother Goose spread out more, and then overwhelm. <clears throat> That's how I'd imagine it'd be a good plan. But then again, plans always go to go with crap once they get tried to be initiated. Air attachment. Maybe we see some aircraft this time. Human aircraft. Going for uh, the monitor, the not monitor, but the uh, air scout, which he's really needs to get eyes on everything. One of these, uh, this mother gook over here could be a proto purger in the building. He just doesn't want to be caught out of surprise. And having an early proto purger does not make you a noob like that last game I, I, uh, I casted. Because that guy just only proto purged and did everything for proto purgers. Sure, you can build them, you can start building them quickly, but they take a long time to actually be built. <coughs> Bike Rush really needs to get those, save those extractors. Because he really needs Eco. He eliminated one of them, not both of them. Wow, Piper doesn't have enough force. Instead of going for the base, which probably he would have traded out evenly, but the problem is you don't want to trade out evenly, you want to do actual damage. So pro taking out the economy is pretty good. if he got those uh, extractors. Yep, he did. While he's engaging that, Biker's trying to move in because he can have these damage all the time because these were free to build. The scout was not taken out. And the Goo player is starting to reach that overwhelming production. Though Bike Rush has kept himself in this game by keeping five refinery in. Up and running. But he still needs more economy. <clears throat> you must have more. You must go to the Tiberium. I 
I would like to see this guy to get a Mother Goo way down here, up, up, upgrading to a Proto Purger. <coughs> Looks like just some scouts, scouting. Looks like we've got some destructors. The Goo Faction's tank and Bastions. I love myself a good Bastion. That Bastion needs to be out in front. Its sole job is to take damage. A nice artillery to hitting the some of these are uh, flight units. More destructors. You can always have some more tanks. Bikers continuing to uh, to get more refineries because he knows that the goo player must have almost. He probably what he thinks he must think that the goo faction must have maxed out refineries, but she's almost well maxed out mother goose. has already been researched. And Bite Crush's force got spl he's trying to go for the Mother Goose, but he was cut off and lost almost half his entire force. Looks like he's getting some howitzers. Which he's hoping to do with some long range DPS, but the problem is He's massing up Gladys, which are good, but he has a lot of striders to deal with the Gladys. And he's trying to get this howitzers uh, behind cover so he can mortar above the units. And the howl his howitzers is stuck and see him trying to move it. You can see this large factory. Perhaps setting up for an Archangel, or no, not Archangel Alpha. Why do I think of Archangel? Because this artillery is starting to go away on the way down the buildings. Probably oh, should target the. This conduit is vulnerable. Lose this conduit, he loses power to this entire strip. Lose this conduit, lose power to this entire strip. <coughs> Those conduits are basically, in terms of StarCraft terms, pylons. They're wires. For those who get this reference, they're basically the radio towers in Universe at War. For the... For the... What's it called? Alm robots? No, that's just standard infantry. I don't remember... What their faction's called. It's really bugging me, I don't remember the name of that faction. I would usually remember the name of the factions quite easily. Now look at this. His force is split up. These Gladys these Gladyses are good as dead.
Bycrush probably could use right now are air units, bombers, because he only has one anti-aircraft unit. <clears throat> yeah, Bycrush is just being corralled into one corner. He's, I'm going to say that he's probably going to lose this game, though he does have a lot of howitzers to poke at a range. Poking at a range doesn't matter if he just can't fuel the force, can't take out the economy. Yeah, Bike Rush has nothing left. He has some howitzers, but he has no... He is refined. Like, this catalyst pool is almost out. This one's running to medium. And the Goo faction has twice the army of him. Yeah, Bike Rush, Bike Rush lost this game. <laughs> Look at all these small Proteans. Oh, that's a lot of striders. I didn't realize how many uh, small proteins there. There were so many, I think they fade through these buildings. GG. Yep, that's pretty much the end of the game. What could have Bikers could have done? Perhaps aircraft for harassing units, so he's forced to build Tempest, which reduces the ground army, but then again, it also reduces. In his ground army, perhaps more aggressive expanding, or what really killed him was he didn't see this mother goo right here. He sees it now due to the fact there's a bike, or there's a aircraft, but he couldn't see that this mother goo before, which caused him to well have no. Uh, he couldn't do damage, which would have hurt the economy. But on that. He just said he couldn't do enough damage, basically. He couldn't do damage at the beginning, so he couldn't do damage later. Well, I would like to see if the uh, this low, low ho guy... Uh, oh. I really wish that he were to uh, take like this, this mother goo here and turn it to a proto-purger. But other than that, this guy did quite well. This is Lord Aegean, signing off.